So, in addition to the tier list thing that's going up today, uh, I felt like talking about Achilles because A, he got buffed on NA and is currently on rate up. B, um, I just got spooked by him on JP. So, yeah, I felt like today was as good a day as ever to re spark the fuel that he has needed a buff still, even after he just got his MP buff. Uh, and there's actually a character that just does the role he wants to be doing and just does it just straight up better. And for more of the places that you'd actually want to bring her for. Uh, Achilles has this issue where he wants to be a, a tank, but he can only be a tank for one turn and then it doesn't work anymore. Uh, the other servant Andromeda not only has defense up, but damage cut and the taunt is three turns and she also gets gauge when she gets hit. And then she also skill seals the enemy so that he will always get hit. And then she just spams defense down. Like the idea of a taunting servant is just done so much better by Andromeda. Now, I feel that this buff, even though it's a year and a half early, uh, earlier than when she released, I feel like it was made because she was already being designed. Like Achilles as a servant, he's not terrible. He has his advantages over her. Uh, but in the specific role that the game wants him to be in he just doesn't he cannot do it as good um yeah so let's get started he was like one of my first like aoe riders that i got on my main account uh like i even summoned for him like in the atlantis banners like right after super orion i was new to the game <laughs> don't don't look down on me like that. Um, I know now not to summon for permanence unless it's like for a very specific reason. Uh, that At that time, that was not a good time to summon for Achilles. But he's got Summer Servant now. He's got a costume. So it's not like he's completely dead in the water. He has a lot of things. He does have a good amount of things that Andromeda just doesn't have and probably won't have. But, you know, it, it is what it is. You got to make the best of it. Like his MP buff definitely does help a lot. Like it, it on it. Like honestly, without the MP buff, like you would, I would not view uh, him in the same realm as Andromeda. Like yes, he can do more damage now, but it's the lack of consistency that I care about more. Base attack, eleven point eight k. This is uh, decently good. Um pretty close to almost 12k which for five stars that's a good ballpark and then in comparison like i'm not just gonna glaze uh andromeda like her attack is like really bad that he has almost 2000 attack so that plus the mp upgrade is why his mp damage is gonna be just much higher than hers but that is only a one time like he has ramp up. He doesn't. If if he's not MPing, he needs the MP for the ramp up, and he just has problems getting back to the MP. Um. Yeah. And also with a tank servant, do you really want the HP like super super low or not super low? But do you want the HP lower or higher? Um. Technically, that does depend on do you have a skill that requires you to be less hp than full or at full uh i don't neither one of them has it yeah neither one of them has like the low hp stuff that total eco or cl have so it, it's not that big of an issue but for me if i want to tank i want them to be tanky i don't want them to die um way before their tankiness is supposed to end i mean wait yeah no, I don't want a tank to die two turns earlier than I wanted them to die. Uh, Star weight, Sargent, these are rider numbers. MP charge is at 0.57. Uh, 
which for a five hit, hit MP, like this is in line with it. Uh, four hits on the quick card, three hits on the arts. These have decently good refund because most of the time you're critting on them and your quick cards are probably being buffed by Scotty. So they should be better, if not equal to these arts cards uh, when they're like fully roided out. And he does like give a quick buff on his MP. So like these quick cards should give him a decent chunk, but you really want to be critting on them. And then he has a four hit extra attack, which not the best for him. Not the best. He. Oh, uh, this is gonna be lacking. This is you're gonna get a lot less gauge and stars from this. All right, first skill. Thirty percent quick up, thirty percent crit damage, on a five turn. Like this skill isn't bad, but like, it is weak for him. The like, that's. That's kind of like the whole thing with Achilles. Like he has, he has the stuff he needs. They just need to be stronger. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, Kentoki Rider actually has this skill specifically. Uh, I'll I'll double check that real quick. But I'm pretty sure he has that same first skill. No, his is Star Gen. So, like, at least. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a straw man, though. At least his first skill is more damaging than a four star welfare. Even that, even though that welfare is like one of the goats for welfares. Um, but yeah, this is like decently good. Um you would want like better like steroids for quick though like because yes he wants crit damage but now he's going to be ramping up crit damage anyway like he would want this to be mp gain too that, that's kind of what i'm saying but this skill is not the one i think needs the most work second skill two two attacks five turns of invo and then defense for three turns at 20%. This makes it really, really hard for him to be even more, like much more tanky than he wants to be. Like, because this is really good uptime. Um, two attacks, five turns. Like if he doesn't get hit, he has like involved continuously. But he has this taunt too. Like I'm talking about both skills together. Because I kind of have to. Uh, taunt one turn. Uh, a guaranteed chance of 300%. Uh, MP gen up for 30% for one turn and a 30 battery. I hate, hate how they did this skill. They should not have tied both of these to this taunt. As like, especially not like this, because now, like, even if they buff this so that it's three turns of the taunt, three turns of the MB gen and they don't touch the battery, that still means that even that first turn that you pop this, you don't have full coverage with the invo. So you're gonna take damage like the defense is gonna help but this is just not it like he taunts for one turn and then your his invuls are gonna be gone so like your whole team is like okay now you have to fend for yourself like at the very least if he was keeping the taunt on himself a he would be getting more gauge per turn b like his supports would actually be staying alive c he does have defense to take less damage so even if they buff this skill they still need to unless it's a really really good buff that goes beyond just a three turn like extending both of these it's gonna have to be good like, cause this is, this would be good 
if it wasn't this weird uptime. Yeah, like I would have prefer like Yeah. It, it's weird cuz now he like it feels like he needs two more buffs. Like just looking that at this and like remembering like how this skill function it really feels like he needs two more buffs and not just one more it isn't that's not a good luck it's not a good luck am i like possibly overblowing this yeah i i probably am but the issue is he's a quick unit and he only has one turn of mp gain which for a lot of them is a death sentence and it's part of the reason his looping is as shitty as it is. Like if we're talking just a looping buff, this is the only skill that needs any attention. But as a character, he needs more than just one buff. And it's gonna be a giant middle finger if they buff this skill first instead of this one. Because they lasagna let's not let's not think that lasagna can't do weird buffs out of order all right passive skills magic with a c 15 percent debuff resistance riding a plus 11 percent quick and divinity c for a little tickle does he need skill reloading not really but it's not gonna hurt him yeah, no, skill reloading is only going to help Achilles, but it's not really going to change much outside of like more sustained fights, the fights that aren't ending in three turns. Um, Quick doesn't really do skill cooldown reduction, not yet at least. Um, so no matter what, mana loading comes first. This is a, he has a 30 battery. So by default, go mana loading it gives you the chance to use black row looping. And on in the case that you don't kill the big chungus, hey, you refund, do some face guard refund. Uh, anti archer, and this is a lore append because of apocrypha. You would like this crit damage though. He, like he would really like this crit damage it's like not often that i'm like i t bring up like characters wanting the crit damage but like this will bring him like pretty close to the cap so like more crit damage is nice it's not needed this is like this isn't the last one you do definitely this is definitely not the last one you do but this is one of the appends you unlock like towards the end like it should be like two one five four and then three three really should be like the last one you try to unlock all right mp which again this is part of the issue i have with him because it's not like he doesn't want to get hit he skill seals them or applies confusion which has a chance to skill seal this means that the enemy cannot pop their skills, obviously, and are going to attack him the turn he taunts. The issue is he can't pop that taunt the turn he MPs because they're not going to have the confusion. So they're still going to be popping skills. So you're going to waste that taunt and 30 battery. It, like huge, huge issue with the timing because now he also has to miss out on MP gain all your supports are going to get hit. It's just, it's not as cohesive. Like in a vacuum, this is good for him being a taunter. This, this is ramp up. This is a taunting ramp up basically. And you have to like play him really weird. Like the OC, they like the buff to his MP. It was real. It was nice. They didn't change the quick OC, but they just slapped on 50% for damage at base 
and it scales up to 100. So easily you do have 150% crit damage. He is better as a crit servant, while Andromeda is definitely an MP spammer. The issue is, this is really important that he MPs. If he gets screwed on carding, he's screwed. If he's not fighting casters, it's especially bad, but really you shouldn't be bringing he, he really is one of those units you cannot counterclass. Uh, Andromeda, I feel you can counterclass because she has enough tankiness. Achilles, he cannot counterclass. He's only fighting casters, which again, didn't bring this up. That is why he has two attacks here because casters can only get off two attacks in their turn. Like one caster boss, they only have two action. So that's why like this last he, this actually is full protection for him, but only when he's counterclassing. His refund numbers are based on counterclassing. If you bring him to fight Berserkers, his refund takes a giant scheming hit, and he is not refunded. Um, I'll show those at the end of this video, but basically, like. With this MP buff, even against 333 caster and starting from zero, I'm 90% sure he barely is able to do it. And this is like, I'm pretty sure that was MP1 as well. So if you have MP2, better chance for overkill and all that. But that is a damage problem. That is a refund, that is a refund problem caused by damage. And then also the refund issue that goes with it. This only lasts one turn. And it's not, this is meant to get him 250. It's meant to get him 250, not um, help him fully refund, because that's not happening. Let's finish this out. Ascension mats, they're not that bad. Besides proofs. Ew, he needs foreign god hearts. Yeah, no, I don't like it. Bonsi. See, this actually makes sense. Him having this invul first. This makes sense. Because it means the first time you have before you MP, you apply the confusion. He doesn't take damage that first turn, more likely than not. And then you start uh, popping like other skills. Like this, he'll probably get hit. So you're free to pop the second skill. Uh, you'll be free to pop the first skill. I mean, yeah, obviously free to pop the first skill. And then the third skill, um, they'll all already have the confusion. So you just hope they get confused. And then you just pop it whenever you can. That make that would make sense. Yeah. It is a very, 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 very good thing he is permanent. Cause oh my god. Like the disrespect. I do like this guy as a character. I think his dynamic with um Penth is it's, it's definitely not the C word, but it is very amusing that he does. He doesn't feel regret for what he did, but he does acknowledge that he shouldn't try and be friendly with her. And he respects her wish, like he respects uh, Penth enough not to try and just start shit. Whether I don't and I don't think it's out of fear. It, yeah, no, it's not out of fear. He knows he's stronger than her. He just doesn't want to. He does like it's mostly out of respect. He doesn't want to step on our pride again. Because if they fight, that's. I think that actually happened in the interlude. Like, yeah. But like personality-wise, he's okay. Uh, Gameplay-wise, still needs work. Hopefully, Lasagna decides to buff him again in the near future. 
who who knows when that's gonna happen though all right peace okay so went through uh the achilles uh calcs and i made it super super simple that this is just the qp node like this is the node the extreme node that you use to farm qp and i even gave achilles black rail to help his refund the most he's five off not refunding enough here in the first wave and this is with the MP gain. He only just barely has enough refund with a buffed MP to do double ruler Scotty Oberon. He needs the double ruler Scotty. He has a double arts, double quick deck, and he needs a like he needs a servant that is roiding out his one Buster card just for him to like loop twice now if you're plug suiting in hakuno this is a very different story for uh farming hakuno fixes the issue of quick servants uh not having enough refund to be able to like pull on like return loop so at the very least achilles is always gonna have the advantage against andromeda when it comes to carding but both of them want to be in cqs not farming like there's habitrot habitrot can farm this qp like, far easier for less of a party cost than trying to brute force quick farming on the node hp values aren't high enough to really warrant this kind of damage in turn three in turn one he does far more damage to one enemy than the highest hp enemy yeah he he does double the damage of the final uh enemy in wave one like the damage was never the issue it was always refund with him um and just to be like to do apples to apples i'll even uh throw on um, andromeda uh for this form to show like a difference okay i i knew i know i said i was going to like fully go through it to do full apples to apples but look like not only does she do like not that much worse damage in comparison to achilles like he was doing like 200 uh 260,000 she's doing 220 um yes he's hitting very a lot harder but again buffed mp and also higher card buff but the refund is what i'm talking she doesn't have that same massive issue that achilles has and not only that she's lacking the mp game that he has and she's only 3% off. This is the issue. Andromeda is just like more versatile when it comes to farming. And then she just functions better in a CQ. Achilles, if you're able to do carding, he's going to hit harder. There's absolutely no question about that. It's just that in a normal 331 node, you and this is just based off probability you are more likely to have none of his cards in that third wave than you are a brave chain or even the one card that he like needs to like really one shot it which not sure how hard his quick card is gonna hit obviously it's gonna hit like fairly hard um like it's going to kill like any of his cards except uh arts card will probably kill but he kind of he would want Hakuno to do the carding instead of trying to like brute force another MP. Just just because it would be a easier and be like faster. But that also isn't how people like to play FGO. They like to have things like running optimally and not have to like even think about anything. So 
this is like this right here is just my justification for why achilles needs his third skill he doesn't need more damage at this point he needs a consistency buff all right that's it for me i will see you guys in the next one peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub hope to see you in the next one peace